Hello students, how are you? I hope you are all well. Welcome to a new lesson on Onua Salai channel. I hope you all like today's lesson and you will get benefit too. Today we are going to discuss two common ways of describing future. Well and going to. We are going to learn when to use future with well and when to use it with going to and the difference between them. أعزائي الطلبة في درس اليوم سنتعلم التعبير عن المستقبل ب well و going to. Have you ever imagined life in 2050? Where will people live? What will they eat? And how will they move from one place to another? Have you ever imagined that? عزيزي الطالب هل تخيلت يوما الحياة عام 2050? This is Sami. Sami is a student. He has imagined life in 2050. And look, he is writing a report about that. Let's have a look at what he has written. What's life like in 2050? Well, I think people will live under seas and oceans. I believe they will travel in flying cars and boats. Robots will be everywhere. They will do the hard work on farms. They will do all the housework too. I think there will be no schools in 2050. Children will learn everything from TVs and internet. Now, let's look at the sentences more closely. Sami says, I think people will live underwater, under seas and oceans. Where is the verb in this sentence? Good, will live. What tense is that? This is future simple, well plus infinitive. Now, do people live underwater now? No, Sam is talking about the future. And he used well plus infinitive to talk about something he thinks may happen in the future. And note the use of think. That's what he thinks. Let's have another more example. Sammy says, I believe people will travel in flying cars. Do cars fly now? No, he's talking about 2050. What tense did he use for that? He used future simple. Look at the verb, well travel. So again he used future with well to talk about something that may happen in the future. And not the use of believe. That's what he believes. Let's have another one. He says, I think robots will do the hard work on farms and in houses. Where's the verb in this sentence? Good will do. What tense is that? Yes, this is future simple. So again Sami used future with well to state his prediction about the future. استخدم سامي المستقبل البسيط للتعبير عن توقعاته بالنسبة للمستقبل. Not the use of think. He used think to state that he thinks this may happen in the future. And this is the last sentence. Children will probably learn at home from TV and internet. Is he talking about present? No, he's talking about 2050. He thinks children will learn at home. What tense did he use to state his prediction? He used well learn. This is a future simple. And not the use of the adverb Probably. From these sentences we can conclude that we use future with well when we believe something about the future. Often with sure, probably, and verbs like hope, believe, and think. أعزائي الطلبة نستخدم المستقبل البسيط والزائد مصدر عندما نعتقد بحدوث شيء ما في المستقبل غالبا مع sure, probably وأفعال مثل hope, believe, 
and think. Do you like stories? Have you ever read this story, the story of the milkmaid? Now together we are going to read this story and notice the use of the future simple. One day a farmer's daughter was going home from the field. She was carrying a pot full of milk. Her head was busy with plans for the days to come. I will sell the milk and with the money I get, I will buy a lot of eggs. Eggs will be hens which I will sell and buy a beautiful new dress. People will look at me and say, what a lovely lady. I will just look away. She moved her head and all the milk was spilled. Now let's read the sentence together. She says, I will sell the milk and with the money I get, I will buy a lot of eggs. Now dear students, did she sell the milk? Did she buy a lot of eggs? No, she's talking about future. She thinks this may happen in the future. Now, let's look at more sentences. She says, eggs will be hens which I will sell. All the people will look at me. I will just look away. None of these actions happened. The girl was walking home from the field. She's talking about future. And look, she used Future simple to express that. Will be, will lock, will lock. Now we'll stop for a short break and we'll soon be back. Stay with us. Now, welcome back. This boy loves football and he wants his dad to let him play with his friends. He says, can I play football with my friends? Dad says, all right, but don't be late. He says, I will be here before six o'clock. The boy promised his dad to be home before six o'clock. And to make his promise, lock, what tense did he use? Good, he used future simple. Well plus infinitive. So we can use future simple, well plus infinitive for making promises. Here's another example. Ali didn't bring his box today. And the teacher is a little bit angry. The teacher says, Please, don't forget your box again. Ali says, sorry teacher, I'll bring them tomorrow. Ali promised the teacher to bring the box tomorrow. And for making the promise, lock, he used future with well. Well, bring. And let's have another one. This is part of a conversation between a girl and her dad. The girl says, my birthday is next week. And dad says, I will buy you a new mobile on your birthday. Dad promised to buy her a new mobile. What tense did he use for making the promise? Good. Will buy. This is future simple. Will plus infinitive. So he used future with will for making the promise. From these sentences, we can conclude that we use future with will when we make a promise. نستخدم المستقبل البسيط عندما نقطع وعدا لشخص ما. Now look. This lady is carrying two money bags. She says, these bags are very heavy. This boy is willing to help. He wants to help. He says, I will carry them for you. Where is the verb in this sentence? Good. The verb is will carry. Again, 
What tense is that? This is future simple. Will plus base verb or will plus infinitive. So this boy use future with will to make an offer. استخدم المستقبل البسيط ليقدم عرضا to show that he's willing to do that. He's happy to carry bags for the lady. Mom wants to go shopping and she wants somebody to go with her. She says, can anybody go to the market with me? This boy wants to help. He says, I will go with you. What tense did he use to make his offer? He used future simple, will go. So again, we can use future with will when we make an offer. نستخدم المستقبل البسيط عندما نقدم عرضا. And one more example. This man seems to have a problem. He received a letter and he couldn't read it. He says, this letter is in Spanish and I can't read it. Can you help me? This boy is willing to help. He wants to help. So he says, sure, I will translate it for you. Where is the verb in this sentence? Yes, right. The verb is will translate. What tense is that? This is future simple. So, this boy is making an offer. He offers to translate the letter for the man. And for making an offer, he uses future simple to show he's willing to do that. He's happy to do that. So, from all these examples, we can conclude that we use future with well when we make an offer. نستخدم المستقبل البسيط والزائد مصدر عندما نقدم عرضا. Look at this picture. This man is late for a meeting. He says, I'm too late to walk to the meeting. I will take a taxi. He will take a taxi. He's talking about future. This is a quick decision. A decision made at the time of speaking. He has no plans for taking a taxi before. لقد اتخذ الرجل قرارا سريعا للتو ولهذا الغرض استخدم future with well. So, we can use future with well when we make quick decisions. Decisions made at the time of speaking. Let's have another example. Imagine a waiter and the customer are in a restaurant. There is no menu to choose from. The waiter says, you can have pizza or burger. And the customer says, I will have the pizza. He thinks for a moment and says, I will have the pizza. This is a quick decision. A decision made at the time of speaking. اتخذ قرارا سريعا باختيار البيتزا ولهذا الغرض he used future with well let's look at another example have you ever lost your key and couldn't get into your house that's what happened to this lady and her son she says we have to get in and I can't find my key the son had an idea he says I have an idea I'll climb through the window. So, climbing through the window is a quick decision. He has no plans before to climb through the window. This decision is made at the time of speaking. القرار بالتسلق عبر النافذة قرار سريع وليد اللحظة. For that, he used I'll climb future with well, future simple. From all these examples, we can conclude that we use future with well when we make quick decisions. نستخدم المستقبل البسيط عند اتخاذ قرارات سريعة. Now let's review all what we have learned so far. We use future with well when we make promises, decisions, and offers. We also use future with well when we make a guessing about the future. 
نستخدم المستقبل البسيط عند إعطاء وعود اتخاذ قرارات سريعة وعند تقديم العروض وأيضا نستخدم الفيوتشر with well عند توقع المستقبل Now let's look at the form of the future simple Future with well Very easy Well plus infinitive or well plus first verb Well زائد مصدر So We can say I will do it Let's look here If you notice dear students Will is used with all subject pronouns So I can say I will do it He will do it She will do it It will do it They will do it We will do it You will do it And when speaking we usually use contraction short forms So instead of saying I will do it I say I'll do it He'll do it She'll do it, it'll do it, they'll do it, we'll do it, you will do it. And for making questions, we make an inversion. We start with well. So, we say, will I do it? Will he do it? Will she do it? Will it do it? Will they do it? Will we do it? Will you do it? Now it's time to practice. What may happen to you in 10 years? Azizi Talib, ماذا سيحدث لك خلال عشر سنوات? You can say, I hope I will be a doctor. Or I'll hope I will be an engineer. Or I'll be a teacher. Or whatever you like. But notice, for predicting the future, use future with well. You can have other answers like this. Look. I think I will have a family. Again, for predicting the future, we use well plus infinitive. Future simple. Another more activity. Now, we are going to finish some mini dialogues. Let's look at the first one. This girl is hungry. She says, I'm really hungry. Can you make an offer? And try to use future with well. Yes, good. I'll make you a sandwich. I used future with well for making the offer. Another more activity. This woman is walking past a shop. She has no plans to buy anything. She sees a nice dress. She looks at the price. The dress is not expensive. She makes a quick decision. What a nice dress. It is not expensive too. Can you guess her quick decision? Right. She says, I'll buy it. She used future simple to make this quick decision. We'll stop for a short break, then we'll soon be back. Stay with us. Welcome back. I'm going to make a cake. Where is the verb in this sentence? Yes, good. I'm going to make a cake. Sofa, amilu kaka. So, this is another way to talk about the future. Going to. Now, dear students, look at the picture carefully and tell me. Is making the cake a quick decision? Is it made at the time of speaking? No, I prepared the milk, the eggs, chocolate, sugar, everything I need. I decided to make the cake sometime in the past. That's why I prepared everything I need. So, this is planned future. 
هذا مستقبل مخطط له اتخذت قرارا بعمل الكعكة في وقت ما بالماضي لذا قمت بتحضير ما يلزم للتنفيذ and for that I use future with going to let's have another example I'm going to travel to Paris where is the verb in this sentence I'm going to travel another way of expressing future look what are these these are the tickets so I planned to travel to Paris sometime in the past and that's why I bought the tickets دخلت قرارا بالسفر في الماضي لذا قمت بتحضير وشراء التذاكر so this is planned future and for planned future we usually use going to and another more example this man is going to paint his house this is not a quick decision it's not a decision made at the time of speaking because he prepared everything he needs for painting the house so this is planned future and for that planned future he used going to I'm going to paint my house sofa adhanu bayti and the verb is am going to paint this is another way for expressing future the planned future and another more example Hiba received a wedding invitation she accepted the invitation and she decided to go now when Reem asked her what are you going to do at the weekend? She has clear plans in her mind. She is going to go to a wedding. So she answers, I'm going to go to a wedding party. This is planned future. It's not a quick decision. It's not made at the time of speaking. From the examples, we can conclude that we often use going to for plans and things we intend to do. نستخدم المستقبل مع going to للتعبير عن الخطط المسبقة مستقبل مخطط له Let's look at the form of future with going to We should have an appropriate and a correct form of verb to be going to an infinitive or base verb صيغة مناسبة من verb to be going to والمصدر المجرد من الفعل Now let's look at the form more closely Is is the appropriate form of verb to be for he, she and it I takes am Are is the appropriate form for they, you and we We also have going to and the infinitive or the base verb So I say He's going to do it. She is going to do it. It is going to do it. Now it's time to practice. Let's move to the first activity. Choose well or going to. I will buy, I'm going to buy some milk. Now before you answer, dear student, look at the shopping list. What is the correct answer? I'm going to buy. How did I know? Look at the shopping list. I decided to buy some things at home. I made the decision sometime in the past. I decided to buy some milk, apples, eggs and bread. This is planned future. So, buying the milk is planned future. When I say I will buy some milk here, this is incorrect. The correct answer is I'm going to buy some milk because milk is listed in my shopping list. Now, I will buy, I'm going to buy some chocolate too. What is the appropriate answer here? I will buy. Now imagine I'm walking in the supermarket. I have no plans to buy chocolate. I saw bars of chocolate. They look so delicious. I have a quick decision to buy some chocolate. 
this is a quick decision. It's not listed in my shopping list. So this is quick decision. So the appropriate answer is, I will buy some chocolate too. Now, dear student, put the verb in the correct tense. The next football World Cup be in Brazil. What is the correct answer? Is going to be. Why? This is planned future. Bra Brazil has been preparing for the World Cup for a long time. So this is planned future. Now let's look at number two. I promise I not tell anybody your secret. Notice promise. What do we use for making promises? Do you remember? What is the correct answer? Great. I won't tell. Because for making promises, we usually use future well. لنقطع وعدا نستخدم future well. Now, we come to number three. I hope I pass my test. Can you correct the verb pass? Great. Will pass. Because we use future will well when we think, when we hope something may happen in the future. I hope I will pass my test. Now, please, correct the underlined verb. The phone is ringing. I will talk it. This is incorrect. Can you correct it? Good. The answer is, will take. Because will is always followed by verse verb or infinitive. Yali will daiman fa'al mujarrad. Now we'll come to another activity. Let's make questions. I will have a test next week. Can you make a question? Yes, right. The question is, will you have a test next week? Remember, and we make an inversion. We start with well, then the subject pronoun. So the question is, Will you have a test next week? Another more question. Reem is going to visit us. Can you make a question? Good. The answer is, is Reem going to visit us? We also make inversion. We begin with the auxiliary, then the subject. So the answer is, is Reem going to visit us? That's all for today. We have learned two common ways for expressing future. Future will well and future will going to. I hope you liked the lesson. Thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>